In this video, I'm gonna be giving you the beginner's guide on how you can make money in property straight away. Hey, if you're new to this channel, please hit subscribe with the notification bell right now. My name's Liam Ryan, I'm the co-founder of Assets for Life, and I'm now gonna share with you how you can make money in property really fast following the three Fs. So what are the three Fs that you need to focus on when you're a complete beginner? Hey, even if you're a bit more advanced, if you follow the three Fs, you're gonna get deals. So number one, is you need to find deals. And finding deals is going to become one of your highest key result areas. Because if you find the deal, then you're gonna be able to get that deal over the line and secure that deal in your property portfolio. So how do you go and find deals? I want you to become really, really obsessed with using Rightmove and all of the other portals that are available to us property investors. You can go on Zootplay, you can go on Rightmove. There's many, many portals out there. You can also go and build relationships with estate agents. You want the estate agents to become your new best friend. So get yourself out there, get yourself looking sharp, make sure you've got your company name, make sure you understand who you are and what you stand for and the types of deals you're looking for, and just walk into your town center, make a list of all the agents, and just go and introduce yourself. Just walk in and say, hey, I'm Liam Ryan from Assets for Life, I'm a property investor, and I'm looking for some fantastic property deals where I can build a relationship with you. I've got access to investors, we're moving into the Birmingham area, the Bristol area, you know, wherever it is you live and build those relationships. Set yourself up a separate email address for your company, which is solely used for the portals. Get yourself registered on Rightmove, choose your area, choose your criteria, and it won't be long, and you're gonna start getting an influx of emails of new deals coming onto the marketplace. What you can also do on Rightmove is you can search oldest listing to newest listing. So look, think about this. If you're looking at properties, that have been on the market for say three months, six months, 12 months. Maybe they've had a couple of offers and they've fallen through. Maybe someone said they'd buy their property and the deal fell apart at the last minute. They are more likely to be motivated to sell, you, sell them your, their property to you much quicker and you may even be able to get it below market value. We recently just picked up a deal in Ongar in Essex 320,000 pounds and we secured it for 250,000. That's 20% below market value and that's 70,000 pounds equity in the deal from the very beginning. There's fantastic deals available out there. There's fantastic opportunity. So you've got to get in the mix of it all. So remember, property portals, agents, you've got to find deals. You could also go to networking events and mix with existing homeowners, landlords, people that are selling deals. Get yourself into property groups where people look to sell deals. You can even go onto Gumtree and contact vendors directly, people that are looking to sell their properties privately. I love looking for property deals. Uh, my business partner does this a lot more than what I do, it. but in the beginning, hey man, every day, Every opportunity I had, I was on that right move, I was calling those agents, I was getting myself out on lots and lots of viewings. The more viewings you do, the more chances you have of finding that deal that stacks, you put in your offers, you sit back, and you wait for those offers to be accepted. So the first F is find your deals. The second F, you now need to fund your deals. And there's many ways in which you can fund your property purchases. Now you might be watching this video and thinking, Liam, I really wanna get into property, but I don't have the funds to get started. Uh, many of my graduates that I've now personally trained to financial freedom, when they met me for the first time, they were at a crossroads, they were working full-time, they had businesses, they weren't quite making the money that they wanted to make, 
and they wanted something bigger, they wanted something better, they wanted to get themselves into financial security. And maybe this is a position that you are in right now, and you're like, man, I don't have any cash for deposits. Like, I don't have any cash to put into a property business. Well, look, I'm here to tell you, you can fund your deals through creative finance. You can fund your deals using OPM, other people's money. My first ever investor gave me 5,000 pounds on a loan agreement. My second investor, 250,000 pounds. And many of my graduates, Kazim and Michael, Alex and Haley Lee, many people that I have personally trained have used other people's money to build their property businesses. So if you're in that position now, do not fear. I'm hoping the fact that you need to go and raise money elsewhere is gonna give you that driving force, that motivation, that inspiration you need to get out there and find investors. So, hey, what can you do? You can use the bank's money, you can use bridging money, you can go and use um, investors' money. Investors are everywhere. I've actually raised over five million pounds in joint venture finance in the last uh, four and a half, five years. And if I can do it, you can definitely do it. So remember, you don't need to use your own money to fund deals. Yes, properties do need funding, but you can get involved with low or no money down property deals. You don't necessarily even have to go and buy the asset. You can get involved with rent to rent, where you're renting the property or managing the property on behalf of an existing landlord. You might be able to go and buy property, say up in the north, where you can get property for 40, 50, 60,000 pounds, and you only need a small deposit. Typically, when you're buying something, you're going to need to find 25% of the purchase price. Uh, this is what's called the equity piece. And then the 75% could come from a mortgage provider. Maybe you can get that on bridging. So start thinking now, who do you know? Who's in your phone book? Where you can go and approach possible investors? Mums, dads, friends, family members, investors. Get yourself to networking events. Get yourself on social media platforms. There's more money in the world today than ever before. So remember, the second F is you need to fund your deals. And depending on what strategy you're doing, you might need to find a couple of hundred pounds, you might need to find a couple of thousand pounds. It depends on what you're doing, where the deal is, but just remember this, you will build a property portfolio if you want to and you need to using none of your own money. Now the third F, which you need to follow. So we've looked at finding deals, we've looked at funding your deals, and the third F is then filling those deals with high cash flowing tenants. Tenants, I love tenants. And it's really important as a landlord that you look after your tenants. Give your tenants the best experience possible because your tenant, other than the property itself, is a really, really big asset. Your tenants are going to be paying the mortgage or paying the rent. Your tenants, are gonna become really important to you because you want your tenants to be in there as long as possible. Other tenants know other people that also want to rent rooms. So I'm a big believer in providing affordable accommodation in the best possible houses, flats that you can possibly do. Please don't cut corners. So where can you find tenants? Hey, you can go to letting agents, they have tenants looking for properties. You can advertise on Gumtree, you can advertise on spare room, open rents, you can advertise on social media, you can go out to local companies, universities, schools to look for lecturers, you can go out to big hospitals. Tenants are everywhere. And look, here's the thing. There's not enough houses in the UK to house all the people looking for properties. There is a shortage of affordable accommodation in the UK, good accommodation. We typically focus on HMOs, houses in multiple occupancy. So we like to get a house, a three or four bedroom house, and turn it into a five, six, seven bedroom 
HMO, a multi-let property. And one of the main sources of our tenants is through spare room. Now look, through a period of renting out a property, you may have voids from time to time. You might have periods where one tenant is moving out and another tenant is moving in. And you wanna keep these void periods to an absolute minimum. So it's really important as property investors that you are relentless with your marketing and you have this constant flow of potential tenants that wanna come and move into your properties. But look after your tenants. So they are the three Fs, find your deals, fund your deals and fill your deals with great quality tenants. And we typically focus on professional tenants or high um, end type um, university graduates, people that are coming towards the end of their studies. We wanna make sure that we've got professional tenants that earn money, make sure you do all the referencing, make sure you check them out, make sure you have a good feeling, don't just put anyone in your properties because once they're in, you want them to stay for a long time and you wanna build that relationship. I teach all of this uh, online, you can watch more of my videos and I run events across the UK. I love business, I love property, I love helping people just like yourself. So if you wanna get involved with becoming a professional property investor, maybe you're brand new, or maybe you've been in property for some time and you wanna to go to the next level, keep watching my videos, and at some point in the future, get involved, come and hang out with me, it'll be lovely to see you.